In this morning's Health Watch, Women and Wrinkles, a new medical study finds there are physical differences that make women wrinkle more easily than men. Yes, we know it's unfair. But we're going to talk about it anyway with Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. This explains why you have much fewer wrinkles than I do. Does it explain it? A little. Okay. Well, show us. Let's go through it. So this was a study that they did in the Netherlands. It was presented this month in a plastic or aesthetic surgery journal. Mm -hmm. And it found that this area around the nose and mouth, known as the perioral region, right. is actually anatomically different in women compared to men. And significantly so, it turns out, They right? found a couple things. For one thing, they found that this area has fewer sweat glands. Mm -hmm. And the theory there is that sweat can lubricate the skin around this area and keep it more supple. Right. The other thing is fewer blood vessels. So blood vessels vascularize the sure. area, keeps sure. it young. Bring nutrients and the, the, and the, exactly. Right. And the other thing is actually a different muscle structure right. that as women age, the muscles actually get pulled in closer to the mouth and causes wrinkles. But what about this? You know, every morning I get up and I shave, right? And I do not. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, the study did not address hair, but there is some theory that hair follicles in men, because they're mm -hmm. a little coarser, actually give more structure to the skin. All right, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because I have the advantage here. That's right. To try to keep up with me. Number one thing we've all heard is really try to avoid a lot of direct sun exposure. Mm -hmm. That is key. Obviously, smoking is really bad, especially in this area. It wrinkles that area mm -hmm. dramatically. And believe it or not, dramatic weight loss also can really be much more prominent if in this very, area. It's very, very quick. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And then, of course, you know, if you can't avoid any of these things, there's always plastic surgery. There you go. Dr. Ashton, thank you so you much. Bet.